What's up guys? So today's video is um in kind of celebration I guess of the theatrical release for Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 which I'm stoked to go and see uh, tomorrow with my dad and um, my friend um, and maybe her family, I don't know, um, they've been camping so I don't know if they'll want to come or not. Um, but it's kind of a characters I'd like to see in the MCU. Um, and this isn't, um, like having their own movies or any official kind of thing. This is just people I'd like to see in the MCU. And, um, yeah. So obviously I'm going to start off first of all with, I'd love to see, um, since Fox and Marvel kind of have little projects that they do together, like the Legion show, um, and I think there's one or two others, um, I'd love to see the Fantastic Four they brought into the MCU. Um, the X-Men kind of is doing okay on their own, um, they have plans to try and readapt the Dark Phoenix storyline, which I'm a little bit apprehensive of, but I feel I could potentially do that really well um so that the x-men is is kind of in its own world at the moment um i'd like to see the the fantastic four though the other fox property that has been botched so many times and i've said this before i believe it's because the only villain they're giving them is dr doom so all we're seeing when we go to watch a fantastic four movie is the four heroes fire up against the same villain time and time again and I think that's what it's undoing at the moment um, so I'd love them to come into Marvel I'd love to see them verse like um, particularly with where the MCU is going at the moment it's starting to go a little bit more cosmic um, you could possibly have um, more than one Herald of Galactus so like a, like a team on team kind of thing um, could be interesting. Um, Mole Man and all the Moloids. Um, there's a whole heap of things they could do with it. Um, and obviously Marvel would do that really well. Um, so I'd love to see those four characters come in. Um, I'd love to see them finally introduce Namor. When Iron Man 2 was released and it had its little map in the background of that last scene, uh, in the debriefing scene, um, everyone got excited because there was a little mark on Africa and then Black Panther's come along and everyone's just forgotten that one little one that was in the middle of, like, the Atlantic. Which is obviously for Namor because that's where Atlantis would be. And everyone's just kind of forgotten that it was there. Um, at the time there was also one up in Greenland which was where they would have eventually found Captain America. Um, there were a couple in... America itself, which would have been other little characters that may or may not have already come up. Um, there's no way to say that we can know who each dot was supposed to represent, but obviously the one in Africa was Black Panther, and the one in this, the Atlantic or Pacific, whichever ocean it was, was um, Namor. So I'd love to see them bring Namor in. Um, there is a storyline that ties that. Uh, Namor in with um, Captain America. He was one of the invaders in World War Two. Was part of the a team called the Invaders with um, Bucky and Cap. So they could tie that in somehow. Because um, in the Captain America movie, they did tease the android version of Human Torch, which is the original one, which was also in that team. Um, so the only person we're missing is Namor. Um, and also with Namor, there is a storyline where there's like a love triangle with him, Sue Storm, and Reed Richards. So if he comes in, and the Fantastic Four come in, there's a possibility to do that. Um, there is also the possibility then to also have an Illuminati movie, which would be kind of cool. Um, then I'm going to, uh, what other ones in the movies? Um, I've got a list on my computer, I'm just having a look. Hector Ayala, the White Tiger, I feel like 
his version of the White Tiger could come through in a Black Panther movie. Um, maybe originally as like a pseudo villain and then ends up teaming up with him. Maybe. Um, or maybe he's just always a villain. Like the White Tiger is like an advisor to the king kind of role. Maybe. I don't know. But it would be kind of cool to see Hector Ayala come in. Um, it would be cool to see um, in like the Guardians of the Galaxy Thor kind of side of things. Uh, Nova, Richard Ryder would be really cool. Um, obviously that would be post uh, Infinity War. Thanos could destroy Xander, thus giving uh, Rick Ryder the world mind and all the powers that come with that, which would be kind of cool. Um, Fly Lavelle, um, Marvel's daughter. I'm assuming Marvel will be in the origin story for um, Carol Danvers, the, the Captain Marvel movie that we're going to get. I'm assuming he's going to be in that. Um, so I'm just kind of holding out to see if that's going to happen. Um, but I'd love to see Fly Lavelle because she's one of the Guardians um, characters in the comics uh, with Star Lord and that. The other member of that team is Adam Warlock, who has been teased and not yet put in a movie. Um, if he's not in the Volume 2, he'll probably be in Volume 3, um, which would be kind of cool to see. Uh, Silver Surfer, obviously, um, as I mentioned before, Harold the Galactus would be kind of cool. Um, and Vance Astrovic, which is the only, um, having read a thing the other day, the only Guardians character not yet put into a Guardians movie. So Vance Astrovic would be kind of cool. Um, he does end up becoming a straight Avengers character as Vance Astro, aka Justice. So his kind of transition from being a cosmic character to being a... Um, Avengers character. He also has the, he, this last page here. He also has Captain America's shield in this picture. So it would be kind of cool to see him kind of assume that role, maybe. Um, uh, yeah, it would be kind of cool to see him assume that role. Um, and then all the other things that I would like to see would be a Phase 2 for um, the Netflix side. So Phase 1 would continue on the different seasons of like Daredevil and Jessica Jones and those Defenders shows, um, sort of including Punisher in that since he came from that. Um, but it would then kind of shift the focus from being like street level heroes to being more kind of supernatural heroes. And then you could get uh, characters like blade in there you could get um i know we've already had one of the ghost riders but you could get a different ghost rider in um maybe you could do johnny storm or denny ketch or one of the ones we haven't seen yet um in the mcu um and then that's so with the, with the fantastic four and blade and ghost rider they're all the ones we've kind of seen in movies before the MCU. Um, so now we're getting into more of the supernatural characters we haven't seen. Um, so like Jennifer Kale is a witch, would be kind of cool to see. Um, Moon Knight is kind of Marvel's Batman, um, would be kind of cool to see. Um, Hellstorm is like the son of the devil. Um, there's a Wells character. Um, Angela Del Toro, the other White Tiger character would also be kind of cool. She has ties to um, Iron Fist, I believe it is. I think she has the her talisman or something comes from one of the seven cities of heaven. So she could she has a possible entry already, um, which would be kind of cool to see. Um, and then from there, you could kind of have a Midnight Suns kind of team up. And so you'd have the Defenders and the Midnight Suns, and then after that, you could go on to something else entirely um but yeah that's they're my ideas at the moment and that's just in heroes i'm yet to, to um go through all my books that are on my bed and find out what villains i'd love to see um but that's as far as heroes go um 
if you like this video guys please do give it a thumbs up um, and leave me a comment down below let me know what um, if you if you're a fan of the comics obviously let me know what character you'd like to see from the comics come onto the big or small screen um, and what you think they'd fit in best um, if you're not a comic fan just let me know what character from a non MCU film you'd like to see get brought in and we'll kind of have a bit of a discussion in the comment section I guess and until next time guys keep raising hell